I'm just playing delivering milk and, milk and bread to them, getting them through. Sandbags and stuff. That guy, the brown house, just went under last night, so we didn't get enough sandbags there, but what do you do? That's about it. Jared Rapson, another Australian trying to do his part to help his neighbours cope, delivering supplies by boat to streets that are underwater. Cleanup efforts have finally begun for some areas in Australia devastated by historic flooding and people are returning to their homes after days of relentless rain, the worst in half a century. But authorities are warning the danger isn't over. This extreme weather has affected 40% of the population, an area the size of Alaska. 20,000 people remain in rescue shelters. Many have only ruins to return to now. Water levels are still rising in some parts. And new evacuations were ordered on Thursday. Darren Osmotherly owns a riverfront cafe. On Wednesday, he had to approach it by boat. The deluge of rain we had yesterday isn't here yet. That's what people get this misunderstanding about. That it's all over, but it's not. So you've got to be careful when the sun's out like this probably just as dangerous as when it's running fast. All our equipment is all underwater. There wasn't enough time to get it out. So we've got fridges to replace, deep fryers, pizza ovens, bar equipment. The list goes on and on. He says he'll rebuild and he's lucky that he has good friends and customers pitching in to help. The Insurance Council of Australia says over 193 million US dollars in claims have already been filed.